Bismillah Rahman Rahim. His Excellency Xi Jinping, President of People's Republic of China. His Excellency Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations. Excellencies, I wish to begin by congratulating China for hosting this event and Professor Lin for invention of the John Sao technology. I also commend China for sharing this beneficial technology with over 100 countries, which has already benefited thousands of people across the continents over the past 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the world at large and the people of the Global South in particular are grappling with multiple challenges, including climate change, poverty, and most of all, food insecurity. With relentless efforts towards ending poverty in all its manifestations, extreme poverty had been steadily declining in the past two decades. However, COVID-19 pandemic triggered an economic meltdown, which has slowed down global progress. The extreme poverty rose in 2020 for the first time in over 20 years. Achievement of food security and improved nutrition have become even a greater challenge for developing countries. Distinguished guests, sustainable ways of achieving economic recovery, growth and development are critical during the pandemic. John Sao technology is one such way. It helps small scale farmers to develop low cost commercial scale mushroom cultivation. In addition, it also helps in combating desertification and can be used as food for livestock as it is protein rich. Excellencies, China is a role model for developing countries in poverty alleviation. China's remarkable growth has brought 800 million people out of poverty over the past four decades. China's leadership role in climate change is also highly appreciated. I commend President Xi's vision of a prosperous, clean and beautiful world, an initiative to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Poverty alleviation and tackling climate change are my government's key priorities. We launched a wide-ranging social safety program called ESAS with the objective of uplifting marginalized people, eradicating poverty and supporting vulnerable households. Our ESAS emergency cash program cushioned the most vulnerable part of our population from the economic shocks of the COVID-19 pandemic. As one of the most climate vulnerable countries, Pakistan fully supports international efforts to combat the scourge. Under a well-articulated climate change and environmental agenda consisting of a number of flagship green initiatives, we are progressing towards a clean and green Pakistan. As part of one of the most ambitious efforts to expand and restore forests, we have already planted a billion trees as part of our 10 billion tree project. Our green initiatives resonate with the United Nations Decade of Ecosystem Restoration 21 to 30. We hope it will contribute to preventing, halting and reversing the degradation of ecosystems. Excellencies, I'm pleased to note that innovative John Sao technology at the Conference of Poverty Alleviation and Sustainable Development suits our society and economy. Such innovative, affordable and eco-friendly technologies may help catalyze our progress towards achieving the first two sustainable development goals, no poverty and zero hunger. Our National Poverty Graduation Program, which empowers people by providing livelihood, creating assets and training, can play a vital role in collaboration with the Chan Sao technology. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Let me conclude by expressing my strong resolve and commitment to international cooperation aimed at poverty alleviation and sustainable growth and addressing climate change. Thank you.